Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Michelle Pereira versus Michael Olden Chacek. Michelle Pereira, 29 wins, 11 losses. He's on a pretty decent uh, win streak. Six wins in a row and only at 30 years old. He's getting ready to break that top 20 uh, rankings. 6-1 uh, with a 73-inch reach. Michael Olin Jacek, 19-6, and 3-2 in his last five fights. Plus 115 underdog, 29 years old, 6 foot tall, 74-inch reach. 1 inch in height for Michelle Pereira. 1 inch reach advantage for Michael Olin Jacek. See, this, this, when I seen this fight was announced, I thought it was like, okay, this, this is a fun fight because I, I think... I think the thing I like about this fight is if Michelle Michael uh, can keep this fight standing, I think his striking is world better than Pereira. Not as flashy, not as explosive, but the boxing's very good. And he has been durable um, in the striking exchanges. The issue with it is Michael Olin Chechek is very susceptible to the takedown now average fight times 11:45 for michelle Pereira, 6:37 for michael and jacek uh like strikes landed per minute 5.09 to 5.12 accuracy 53 to 50 strikes absorbed per minute is 3.74 to 4.17 again on the feet he's very active uh defense is 58 to 62 Takedowns uh, 1.56 to 0 0.76. Accuracy is 54 to 44. Takedown defense is 94 for Pereira, 48% for Michael and Jacek. Submissions 0 0.6 to nothing. Again, this is a guy two fights ago that fought Kyle Borello and Michael Olin Chaychuk and kind of got dominated. Defended it for a little bit, but kind of got dominated after I think that first round. Uh, and then actually get ended up getting finished by a rear naked choke in round number two. Fought in Jikawani, Chidi 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 Bang Bang um, in his last fight. And something that Chidi always does, comes out real strong early in that first round. And then he just couldn't keep up that pace and ended up losing. Destroyed Cody Brundage two, uh, three fights ago. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Two fights ago. Um... I guess it was his third one back in 2022. Anyways, it doesn't matter, I guess. But he's 7-4-0-1 oh, in, in, his, in his UFC career. The one is a Khalil Roundtree uh, unanimous decision win that he it was overturned. Wait, I think Roundtree won it. It was overturned. I think it was, you know, the devil's lettuce. But, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Doesn't even say what it is. Ends in a no contest. Yeah, I think it was Roundtree won this fight, and he pop for the devil's lettuce but doesn't even matter to be honest anyways yeah i i, I think Pereira wins this i think it, of course it's tough on the feet because michelle uh, old and check is very good at striking obviously 14 wins by tko or ko 15 wins 15 finishes out of his 19 wins has been finished five times in his career out of his six losses, but four of them are submission. I really like Michelle Pereira. Early, it's going to be tough getting him down, but I do think he gets him down. And I, again, I just like Michelle Pereira's diversity at this point in his career. He keeps it a little safer. He doesn't be all nuts like he, he once was. 17 finishes out of a 21, 29 wins. He's only been finished two times in his career. That's wild. He also has a disqualification loss in there, which was Diego Sanchez. 7-2 in the UFC, which was the DQ by Diego. And then the decision loss to Tristan Connolly. That is wild to think about. He actually was supposed to fight uh, Wonderboy, as we all know. It was canceled. Wonderboy would have lit his ass up. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Michael Olin Chacek, I think Michelle Pereira wins this fight. I think he does well getting him down to the ground, beating him up, softening him up. And at the very least, he's going to get a... Uh, decision win and he destroyed Andre Petrowski in the f just over a minute in the first round last year in October as always guys subscribe like comment let me know who you are picking let's talk about it peace